With all the craziness going on in the world the last few years with the pandemic and everything else, vegetable gardening and gardening in general was rejuvenated and lots of people were looking to start up vegetable gardens again, but didn't necessarily know where to begin. Now with this looming thoughts and all the talk about food shortages, demand for growing your own food is even getting higher. But again, not everybody knows where to start. And the old days of just rototilling a big portion of your yard and, and spending lots of money on compost are beyond. I want to show you about the earth box and how it is a saving grace for anybody that wants to grow any kind of plants but may not necessarily have a green thumb. Now the earth box, uh, we stock three different styles in this. One, this is the old uh, faithful, this is the classic earth box. Sizable, uh, it's maybe about 30 inches by about 12 inches wide and you can grow a decent amount of plants inside this. But then they went and made out the, the root and vegetable garden kit, which is a little bit deeper. So if you wanted to grow things like carrots, things that have bigger tap roots, these come in very handy for that. And then they have the junior. And so this is just a smaller, almost like a window box style, works off the same principles, but um, just smaller in scale. So it takes up less room on your patio or your deck. Now here's why I love the earth box. All of them work off the same principle. Now the original here has this really cool staking kit that you can get. Um, so if you wanted to grow tomatoes or maybe even cucumbers vertically uh, to save, safe, uh, save space, um, it really works nice because this is a completely portable unit. And what I find um, is the reason it works so well is the watering reservoir on the bottom. And so in here, basically what you're doing is you're just filling this whole void with potting soil and there's a little pipe that goes down into the bottom. And you can see right there that there's a little pipe that comes up the top. When this is installed properly and they give you great instructions, they give you the fertilizer, the lime, everything. But what I love is the fact that it takes all the guesswork out of everything. Um, it tells you how many plants to plant in the earth box based on what it is that you're trying to grow. So spacing and all of that is already worked out for you. You just have to match it up to a little diagram. And once you fill this up, they give you this nice cover on the top. And um, what that does is stops the rain from getting down and suppresses weeds. The earth box is extre extremely easy to set up. You're virtually just taking a potting soil that you like. You do have to purchase that separately. I recommend the Coast of Maine all-purpose potting soil because it just seems to work extremely well in these planters. And then you follow the instructions on how to fill the pot. They give you some lime, they give you some fertilizer, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Once you're installed and planted, that is it. This little reservoir tube uh, that you just top off with water and you fill that planter up with water until there's a little escape hatch. So when the reservoir down at the bottom is full, the excess water drops out the other side. So then you know your tank is full. So this gets rid of all the guesswork uh, as to how much. I find that most people kill their plants with too much or too little water. That's why I feel that this system works so well, is that it takes all the guesswork out of it and it gets rid of all the rainwater from being, if we're raining out, there's a plastic cover that's going over this. It stops the rainwater from getting in and makes the perfect growing conditions on the inside. I have customers that have been doing these and doing cucumbers up on the trellis kit and picking 50 cucumbers off it in just one batch. And if you plant them early enough and they grow fast enough, you could probably even get two crops out of them. And so um, if you're looking for somebody that wants an easy way to get into vegetable gardening or rather, or maybe they travel a lot and they want flowers, you can grow flowers in these things too. And it extends because there's nothing worse than getting into the summer, getting beautiful plants. And then all of a sudden you go on vacation for a week and you come back and all your plants are dead. These really help extend the amount of time in between watering because it holds a lot of water and you can just top it off before you're leaving and odds are it's gonna be fine um, while you're gone. Not if you go away for a month, but within reason. Uh, but I find that I've never had anybody grow anything in these things that didn't explode in growth and perform really well. So hope that helps. Take care.